Welcome back to another edition of Electric TV, your home for electrical industry news, information, and entertainment. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. When those in the electrical industry think of the NECA IBEW team, images of all kinds of work come to mind. Industrial, commercial, building renovation, wind and solar, just to name a few. But there's one very special job we just finished, one that we're just as proud of as any other. It's Saturday at 114 Lark Lane in Stafford, Virginia. This may look like any house on any street in any town in America. What's happening at this house on this Saturday is something very special. This is the home of Marine Corporal Brandon Burns and his wife and their three small children. As a Marine, Corporal Burns dedicated himself to the protection and service of our country. This mission eventually took Corporal Burns to Iraq in the Battle of Fallujah, where he sacrificed himself in the protection of our freedoms. As his platoon moved forward in the liberation of the city, Corporal Burns was hit in the head by a sniper's bullet. He survived, but life would never be the same again. Corporal Burns' injury damaged more than a quarter of his brain and left him paralyzed on his right side. Like far too many returning vets, the battle for Corporal Burns was just beginning. He faced years of physical and speech therapy to relearn how to walk and talk. But even with these strides he made in recovery, there were still challenges he faced that we take for granted, like being able to navigate around the house. I got a call from Quantico and they said they had a Marine who was in need of a fence and some work done and they didn't know who to call. Upon meeting Corporal Burns and seeing the issues with their house, Brandy quickly realized that the scope of the work was beyond what the Wounded Warrior Project could handle. One of our guys in our Warriors to Work team said, I know a friend at Helmets to Hard Hats, and they got set up and started looking around and said, we can do this and this and this, and the next thing you know, they have all the tradesmen coming out. The trades, you know, use, utilizing our program supports veterans, and this is just another way that the trade unions support veterans. And literally within an hour, I had three trades lined up. Having seen that a significant amount of the work needing to be done was electrical in nature, one of Rob's first calls was to the NECA IBEW team. The president of the local union asked if uh, somebody wanted to volunteer to help out with the Wounded Warrior Project down here in Stafford and immediately rose my hand and said, yeah, I'd love to do it. Local 26 quickly put together a team of highly skilled electricians and former veterans themselves willing to donate their time to help out. We had uh, two apprentices total and four uh, electricians, licensed electricians here. John and the rest of the NECA IBEW team quickly assessed the situation and determined what needed to be done and who was best suited to complete the work. And as being electricians, we're putting in some outdoor lighting and uh, some uh, light fixtures uh, inside the kitchen and uh, the den. Today I put in some lighting in the house, a switch, um, we did the sun pump under the house, um, some flood security lighting in the back. Did some minor electrical work, actually getting a receptacle in place for his, uh, his sump pump and did some lighting stuff out back and just, you know, whatever was asked of me. Even with this job not being a large scale undertaking, the NECA IBEW team didn't change their approach or their quality they brought to this project. When you do a product, it doesn't matter whether it's an industrial plant, because I've worked from everything from industrial to residential stuff. Um, you have to look at it for what the job is. It's not about you know, looking at a smaller, big project. It's, it's helping mankind. I have uh, 27 years as a union electrician, and the uh, four other mechanics that were here also have that much in tenure. Plus, we're all licensed in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So for this individual to come home and see the work has been done, it's been installed in a professional and workmanlike, workmanship like manner. It's an honor and a privilege. For everyone involved, this was much more than just a job. It was about respect and giving back to someone that has given up so much for us. I have a personal vested interest. I, I was in the healthcare field for 11 years when I was in the Navy. So um, I constantly work with guys that were, you know, in that situation. When I'm doing this, I'm actually thinking about the guy that, you know, is benefiting from it. And honestly, you know, I don't I don't know him personally or anything like that, but if, if it means crawling in his crawl space and getting covered in mud, you know, because he's not able to, I'm all about that. And, and I would come back here gladly to do whatever he needed me to do. The biggest thing for us is, um, you know, as a tradesperson myself and as a veteran, you know, it's just one of those opportunities where you can take something that you're a professional at, that you feed your family on a daily basis with, and you can take that skill and give it back to someone here in the community and 
that's what we're all about anyway at the end of the day. I think it's important because they have a better understanding of what the union really means and what it's all about, that we are actually in the community. And we do offer our services and time as well for in people in need. With all the work done and the house clean, all that was left was to give back Corporal Burns the keys to his house. We just thought, okay, we'll help you, you know, get things screwed in or whatever. They said, well, what about this and what about that? And we're like, if you say so, we'll take it, you know? So we're very grateful for all that's been done. Just the lighting, I mean, you think that's such a minuscule thing, but because we had the fluorescent lights and it wasn't, you know, our kids are sleeping in the den and we want to go do the dishes, but we don't want this big old bulky light shining in on them and trying to have them wake up. Just the simplicity of it, and it just kind of just ties the room together. Yeah, thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts uh, for me and my family because it is wonderful that you would do this uh, without banging an eye. You did it, and thank you so much. That's it for this edition. For more like behind the scenes extras and social interaction, follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.